I can't say shit based on my podcast. You can, and you can just beep it out. It'll sound so much better if it's beeped. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> This is the Lard and Sheila Show Drunk Podcast Edition featuring Mom! Hey! Woo! Hello, Mom! Hello, Mom! No, Hello! No, you are, Mom. <laughs> Hello, Lauren! Hi! How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Good. Well, I'm sure you are after you two have had a few drinks. <laughs> yep. Well, Mom's we've got... We've caused scenes everywhere we've oh gone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can imagine. Lauren, we were drinking at the grocery store. Okay. Um, I think I just need to clarify for our listeners, though, before we continue this. Yeah. Only one half of the podcast has had too much to drink. I'm sat with a cup of tea. And it's not a Long <laughs> Island iced tea at all. This is it's good It's an old English breakfast. English breakfast. <laughs> that is right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's two out of three ain't bad, as Meatloaf always says. But yeah, girl, we've been having so much fun. Mom came in a few days ago, and uh, we have been having fun. She comes in for her grandson's birthday, you know. Every year. I love it. Committed. And it's funny, because normally we're either in Disney World or on a Disney cruise, like for his Mm. birthday. But this year, she actually came in, and she's like... Sissy. You know, she calls me sissy. Yeah. Tell them, you call me sissy. Yes, I call her sissy all of her life. She goes, sissy, (laughs) did you plant all these new things? I'm like, no, mom, you're just here in the winter and they're dead. They don't, they don't exist in the winter. (laughs) They're actually like growth. She She thinks I did all these new things. I'm like, no, it's just called summer. You know? Oh, I love it. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, we've been having fun kind of reliving, showing her stuff and all that. But hold on. The most important part of this whole podcast is right now because we got a sponsor this month. We do indeed. And mom just help him pay his rent. Let me tell you, mom went shopping at Perry's Emporium. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) I love it. She's having a great time at Perry's from the picture I saw. Man, well, you know, they're doing renovations and we're going to talk to Alan Perry in just a few minutes, but... So they're like slashing like prices like mad, right? Because they're going to have all new inventory when the renovations are complete. So Mm -hmm. mom, what did you see at Paris Emporium? This gorgeous ring that just jumped out at me, but really two. And the one I bought was slashed. It was a beautiful pink stone with diamonds around it and a Mm. heavy gold band. I've never seen anything like it. I have to say, she does not have anything like that in her collection. Oh, I love it. It spoke to me. (laughs) Well, you had to buy it then, surely, if it speaks to you. Buy me! (laughs) And then the other ring I saw, it's rose gold, gold, and white gold, and it's sort of like leaves. It looks like metal. Yeah, nice. and it's got little petals and stuff like that. And that's what mom's getting for Christmas. Put it on layaway. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is so me because the girl said you're the only one that could pull it off. Yeah, my mom. Wow. My mom, it. for those who don't know, we're going to be posting pictures of mom all week long. But my mom is five foot nothing, like literally five <laughs> foot even. Short as all get out, cute little tiny figure. And she can pull off, like, massive earrings and massive jewelry. And I'm like, how does that fit on this little body? But you look at her and it just goes. She does rock it when I see pictures with all these big earrings and stuff. Yeah, she looks great. And I'm like, I could never in a million years. I would look like a Gaudy's girl from the 80s. It's It's the attitude. (laughs) Yeah. It's all about how you wear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly. All right, Brilliant. well, uh, first of all, we need to back up a little bit, too, because uh, last week we had off, and you had a big birthday to celebrate. Yeah, I turned 34. What, what? You're so young. Stop that I 34 don't... attitude. I don't feel it. You're still a baby. Baby oh. cakes. I wish I was younger, though. <laughs> yeah. See, the only thing I saw from your birthday was a bunch of rhino butts. You care to explain? Yeah, I was meant to send you more pictures, but I just, uh, yeah, ran out of time, didn't send any. So basically, my birthday was on the Sunday. So on the Sunday, you know we love America, and I don't know if I mentioned it in the last podcast, but we went to a diner. So it's an American motel diner and drive through that's opened over here. And it was really cool. They were really lovely. The motel was lovely. And they've got like American sweets that you can buy in the shop. It was really, really cool. So they pulled it off. They pulled American off well, and unlike yeah. the other place? Yeah, but here's the issue. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and I really, really want.
wanted to just love There's it. It's always an issue. I know. <laughs> the, the diner part of it, beautiful. The inside, absolutely beautiful. The food just didn't quite cut it for me. Did they have milkshakes? They did, and they were probably one of the best bits. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good for the milkshake but, man. Yeah, we got to hear that they, review later. He was happy with the milkshake. Um, I don't know what it was. It kind of says that it's a modern twist on the American diner. Ah. There's the issue right there. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, I had a pulled pork um, like bun, right? Lovely. Mm-hmm. Tasted quite nice. But you don't get fries with that. It just comes just on its own on like a little side plate. That was my dinner when it came out. That's weird. You no, gotta have a side. No coleslaw, no beans. No nothing. No huh. salad, no nothing. Unless you paid extra for it. That's so weird. However. That's nothing like that's your modern twist on American I know. diners right How- there. <laughs> Callum, though, had the ribs. And again, it wasn't a very big wrap of, wrap of ribs? A rack yes. of ribs. But his did come with fries. So what? why does his come with fries and mine doesn't? And yeah. I have to pay an extra four pounds for mine. No, that's that's bull duty. Four pounds. That's like over five dollars for a side for of fries. fries. No, that's, that's crap. Like, and then breakfast the next morning, I was like, okay... Wasn't too taken with dinner, but, you know, it's fine. We'll go over there for breakfast in the morning, American breakfast. And I thought, you know what? I really fancy just, like, an English breakfast, like a full-cooked breakfast, rather than the pancakes. Let's just try it. Well, it was £10.50, which is probably about $15. Mm-mm. And it was the smallish... Smallish? Why can't I talk today? I don't know. It was like... This, it's not me that's been on the drink. It's you <laughs> two, and it's me that can't <laughs> get my words out. We're influencing you. We're totally oh. influencing you. Jeez. And it was the smallest, like, portion. I had one slice of toast, but it was sort of like an oval shaped, but it wasn't like a full square slice of bread. It was a mm-hmm. small piece. A little ramekin that you would put your tomato ketchup in had the beans in. What? So literally like a teaspoon of baked beans. Oh my God. For breakfast? It, yeah, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. It was just strange and I felt like for the money, it just didn't cut it on the food front. No eggs, Which, no Bacon, well, no sausage. No, I did have that. It was a sausage patty, so they did it American style because you guys tend to do sausage patty rather than sausages when I come out there. So we did have that. The scrambled egg was really like, it was a little bit runny and sort of buttery tasting and you know I'm not good with butter. She does not like butter. It just, so Mm-mm. I basically put that on Callum's plate. Mm-hmm. I put the sausage patty on Callum's plate. <laughs> I went extra bacon because I didn't have the mushrooms. But the bacon was like, I can't, it wasn't like thin crisp. bacon. It was it like thick crisp. bacon. That's British bacon. No, it no. Our bacon is not as thick as this was. You might as well oh. have just given me like a couple of slices of cooked ham. <laughs> Like, it just, it was just weird. It was like it was trying to be a posh breakfast, but it was a lot of money for a posh breakfast. But and they I just, failed, yeah. You need to come to Texas and I'll fix you a decent breakfast. I'm telling you. You know Tell- what? We were talking about that two yes. nights ago, actually. Yes, they want to go to Texas so bad, Mom. Mm-hmm. Let's we're doing talk it. About it. I have three bedrooms, an extra bath. We are. Uh, we need to do I it. Think. Seriously. Wait, hold on. And she's OCD clean. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I I'm come in. Oh, she cooks, girl. She cooks. <laughs> oh, I bet. You can I give me your well. uh, itinerary and it'll be ready for you. Perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this be- is what I need in life. And it'll give me another incentive to go visit mom in Texas. And then we can all take the drive to Waco, Texas and go to Magnolia and go see Chip <gasps> and Joanna's place. Have to go and see that. Mm-hmm. That the is silos. so on my list. Yes. Oh How gosh. far is that? From like hour from and a half? About two and a half hours. Two and a half? Not bad. And mom's oh, got a suburban, bad. so we're good. We can all fit. Amazing. Sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. And then a, can I drive to suburban? Wilmington or yeah. fly to Wilmington? Or, yeah, you can you know. fly to Wilmington straight shot from, yeah, Houston. Her airport's Houston, so it's right there. Amazing. I was trying to convince Callum that what we should do next year is three weeks. So we mm-hmm. should fly direct into Toronto, have a week in Toronto, mm-hmm. then fly to Texas, have a week in Texas, then fly to Wilmington and have a week in Wilmington. His bank balance was just ticking through his head thinking, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you're going to save money on food and lodging in Texas. And Sissy exactly. can fly back with y'all to Wilmington. That's right. Exactly. Ah, yeah. I'll have another word with him. (laughs) 
Well, I tell you what, we've been having so much fun. So let me tell you, Mom and I, I think when we got here, you know, she's here for Truman, but honestly, I mean, she's here. She hasn't for me. seen him yet, has she? Yeah, you know, <laughs> he's been hit and miss. He's been all over he's the place. He's visited. Yeah, he's been. He shows up when food's involved. Is pretty much. I what bet. That is. Yeah. So we went to Rebellion. We had the Brussels sprouts again. You know how much I love um. that. Yeah, you know how not keen I am on them. She's just, she tried. She tried. Callum, I tried. Callum liked them. He did, but me trying is quite an advancement, it let's was. be honest. <laughs> it is. Gold star for you, girl. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Thank you very much. Thank yep. you. Now, <laughs> she made me feel very guilty, though. She goes, and we were just there, and we were full. And I said, Mom, do you want any ice cream? Do you want any cupcakes? I'm thinking, you know, the two shops downtown, where we're going to go. She's like, no, I'm full. And then... We go to the beach this morning, and then we pass up. I'm like, there was a huge line for Brit's Donut. It's at 10 a.m. Of course, we're oh going down goodness. Carolina Beach Boardwalk, and the line is all the way down. I'm like, oh, look out for the Brit's Donut. She's like, oh, that's Brit's Donuts. I'm like, what? what? You've never been to Brit's Donuts? She's like, no. And I'm like, what? In the 20 years, Lauren, that I've been living yeah. here, not once, have I taken my mother to Brit's Donuts? And I've always been here in the summer. God, Do you know what? Not for the it's, last six years. It, Don't lie, lady. Well, you know how I feel about it. Let everyone know what my response to you was when you messaged me a picture of you and your mom in Brit's Donuts. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly <laughs> what you said. You actually came up with the word of the day. And Sheila, what was the word of the day, which is exactly what you were today? Appalling. The word is... Appalling. Yes, I messaged and said that is absolutely appalling that you have not taken your mother to one of the best places in Wilmington. Yeah, I'll use it in a sentence. Fine. Mm -hmm. Brit's Donuts is the most wonderful place in the world. They find it appalling that Sheila has never taken her mother there. Appalling. Yes, absolutely. I was appalled. It was just... Redemption. Honestly. Do I have Redemption. If you take me to the ice cream shop. See, I haven't taken her oh. to Kilwins either. God. Uh, have you never had a Kilwins either? Oh. I told her. <gasps> like I said, after rebellion, do you want ice cream? Do you want a cupcake? No, I'm full. And it's her fault. It's her fault. I can't even think of a word, but there's got to be a word that's worse than appalling, Sheila, for this situation. How about we take a sponsor break? <laughs> Sheila caught up with Ellen Perry at Perry's Emporium as they're under massive renovations. And here's how it went down. We are back, I think, at Perry's Emporium here in beautiful Barclay Commons. You are renovating. I got with me Alan Perry, the one and only, with the most beautiful jewelry and all the land, but it's been relocated temporarily across the street. Oh, uh, well, you're the really me, me, the little kid, the little, the little, <laughs> the, this is a little pee pee over here, Perry, pee pee, uh, this is Perry's protein over it's, here. Yeah, mini me. Oh, man, yeah, mini Perry, because we're in 3,000 square feet total, 3,000 square feet, whereas across the street, we're remodeling. Is seventy five hundred. Yeah. So this is actually twenty nine seventy five. But who's counting the square feet? <laughs> I know we are not with everybody in here, but we're doing great. We're marking down merchandise. If I've had it for ten months to a year, it's being slashed. I mean, we've got yeah. stuff 30, I'm, 40, 50. That's what I'm seeing. Sixty percent off. You I mean, know, my mom's shopping out there. I, know, I brought my I mom know, in, and she is the jewelry. Queen. <laughs> now, you know, we don't have everything marked off because, you know, some things I can't mark off because, like, heart's on fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, although, if it's over a year old, I am taking 10% off. All so right. Uh, but if it's got a blue tag, yellow tag, green tag, red tag, it's clearly marked. It's on sale. I mean, and, and you get some bargains. Loose diamonds are marked down. Uh, diamond seam mounts are marked down. I've got, I think I got almost 90 seam mounts, diamond seam mounts marked down. So basically, if you want a custom designer ring for your wedding or for some engagement ring. We're still doing it. Yeah, and then that you could get discounted diamonds. Yes, you can buy the diamonds discounted right now. If you pick out one that's got the tag on to it, the color code on it. Uh, I'm blown away by the customer's response. And we've had so many new customers who have never been in before. They're like, Wow, this place is really small. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> well, yeah, so let's back up. So, I mean, this is a long time coming. You've been wanting to renovate over there at Perry's Emporium across the street for a while now. So we're in your bridal shop across the street we're right now. We're in the now. old bridal shop. Yeah, right. That's the one the dressing rooms we're in. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, tell me what we're going to expect with the new remodel. Oh, my gosh. A brand new color scheme, brand new flooring, uh, brand new customer uh, relaxation zone. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm, I got a cappuccino machine. It's not only doing cappuccino. It does espresso. It does lattes. <laughs> it does Americanas. It does the wheelie wheelie. Does it do regular coffee, too? It will do that. <laughs> It does thirty nine different oh cups my of, uh, thirty nine different styles of coffee. I love it. Uh, and I'm thinking about getting some of those hot tea also mm -hmm. you know, along the side. I mean, it. because Lauren is a tea girl. Yeah, you yeah, know she yeah, is. Yeah, so she just, <laughs> she's got to have her tea. I thought about her watching the uh, Rocket Man movie the other night. I thought about her. <laughs> Like, oh, they all speak British. <laughs> all right, so we can expect this whole week, you're going to, I mean, your inventory is flying out of here. Do you have enough for us to talk about how excited we are about the, the discounts? Yes. You know, we've lost about nine showcases coming over here. Wow. So we're pulling out stuff in the showcases and looking at it. And if it's over a year old, I'm marking it down crazy. I love it. Um, some stuff I'm marking down even more because I just want to get rid of it. Uh, I'm hoping to have two new exciting lines coming in the fall. Uh, I know one's coming. I can't tell you about it yet, but I'm waiting on the other. Ooh, secret inventory. Yeah, I like this. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, more of a fashion statement deal. But we're getting our jewelry design center set up over there. Uh, the construction is slow. <laughs> slow. <laughs> I but it's go, coming. I had to go fishing for a week just to get out of town <laughs> because I was being such an ass. Uh, I don't understand why you have to wait for a doggone uh, <laughs> permit when you've already got a certified stamped uh, PA stamp on the plans. I mean, it's like he goes to court and testifies with these stamps. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah. So if they've already said this is what we're doing, they've stamped it and approved it. Why well, we got to wait three weeks to three months for a permit? Welcome um, to construction. Oh, my God. It's insane. I feel so sorry for these people who have to put up with this all the time. <laughs> And I'm not speaking bad against the city or the county. No, they, it's, the process. it's the process. You're angry at the process. It is. I it understand. Is. This whole world's going to hell. <laughs> it's the process. I'm telling you, don't let me run for any office. Because, oh, my uh, gosh. Let's get back to happy things like discounts for your customers. <laughs> You know, it's been really great. I mean, the customers that are coming in are loving it. We've been averaging, you know, averaging probably 20 people a day, every hour coming in. Mm -hmm. I'm um, loving it. I am too. I know. Like, I bet you are. I'm so just, I stand back in awe. Sometimes I take my shoes off. Like, I'm on holy ground. This is blessed ground. <laughs> so we got Perry's Emporium, beautiful Barclay Commons. Uh, you can go to perrysemporium.com. Yep. You can buy online. They're on social media. They're always, Facebook. oh, you do amazing things on Instagram and Facebook. Yep. And contests. You guys do contests sometimes all the time time too yeah. so make sure you follow perry's emporium on instagram and facebook because you want to be involved in some of the parties that they do and the contest you want to get in on it yep you sure do and you'll still have the rainy day diamond guarantee still going on and for those that are just tuning in have never heard of that before what is the rainy day diamond guarantee if you buy your diamond suit loose diamond your diamond engagement ring from my store and you register 100 days out from your wedding if it rains one inch in this parking lot right here in front of my store, from 8, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., your diamond ring is free up to $5,000. Love it. Yeah, Love and it. We, and we've given away probably close to $90,000 in the last five years. That's amazing. It is amazing. I know. And thank God for insurance. And thank God you're like the number one jeweler anyway. So where else are you going to go in well, this town? I appreciate that. We're, we've been very humble. You know, we won Encore and we won the... Uh, W-W-A-Y deal. And Best now, jeweler in town. And, and now I think we're at the Star Muse is the next one that's working on us, and we're in that one also. Oh, so. boy. But, you know, Encore to me is really big, and then AY is pretty big, but I, I really appreciate the uh, people voting for us. Wow. Um, and, and go on Facebook. There was a beautiful, beautiful lady who came in with a piece of jewelry that somebody else had messed up, and we took it, and we fixed it, and our price was very reasonable, she said. She said the service was even better. So that made me really proud. You, know, well, you got good staff. You got good people. You have creative artists that work here. And yes. don't forget, with your jewelry, get it repaired here. Yep. Or you can also sell your jewelry have here. You seen the diamond the, the TV commercial where I'm yelling at not that wall? I'm, oh. I'm getting so much response from that because <laughs> I'm yelling not that wall. <laughs> and my other son's like, the only diamonds over here now are diamonds, the tip saw blades. And, yeah. and then it came to me, and I got my, my with construction hat. I got it all crooked. My, my father was a plumber, and he always wore his construction hat crooked. So I just kind of actually put mine on crooked. I'm catching hate yeah. about that. 
Yeah. Your hat's crooked. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake, I'm trying to sell jewelry. You're talking about my day I go. We are so posting that on Facebook this week. <laughs> posted it. I love it. Alan Perry, thank you as always. Oh, uh, she love you. Love you too, buddy. Bye. By the way, we didn't even intro the show. In the good. We just started <laughs> going. <laughs> Welcome to the Lord and Sheila Show, Season 2, Episode 7. How's it going so far? Yeah, thanks for joining us at the halfway point. <laughs> hey, I am two pina coladas in, Mama's two, what's that, Chardonnay, wine blend? Pinot Grigio. No, boo, la ta da, she's Pinot Grigio. She's a Grigio. Pinot Grigio kind of girl. Yep, that's well, right. I'm an every kind of girl yeah, when it comes is. to liquor <laughs> and wine. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get along great with your mother. <laughs> you will. Wesley, man. It's Prosecco all the way with my mom. Is that is that good? 100%. We're That's good. That's too sh- sweet for me. No, you oh. drink it. You will drink it and like it. You will enjoy it be- with Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> if she puts OJ in it. Yeah, oh, okay. You want to do mimosas. We'll mimosa it. <laughs> yep. Well, I think mom is finally relaxed and warmed up. I think it's time to play... A little quiz. Yeah, I think after a couple of drinks, this is going to go down so, so well. (laughs) So, I've heard, well, actually, both of you are absolute Harry Potter fans. Truth. Yes. That's the truth. Well, we're about to put that to the test. (laughs) Oh, dear Lord. (laughs) And you cannot blame the alcohol if you do not know the answers. (laughs) (laughs) Do you understand the rules? (laughs) Yes, Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Like mother, like daughter. Okay, so you can work together on this. The only thing you cannot do is Google the answers if you're starting to struggle, okay? Oh, I'm I'm not the Googler. Yeah, she doesn't even, she can't even say Google. Say Google, Mom. Say Google. 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 (laughs) She can't say it. So I am going to be on the sidelines as a phone a friend option. Okay, you might be needed, but I'm, you know, (laughs) we'll see. Okay, here we go. You ready, Mom? Yes. I think there's 12 questions here, so... Oh, lordy, Miss Glotty. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Question number one. How many staircases does Hogwarts have? Nine. Mm, no. <laughs> Do you want another guess? Don't phone a friend, because this friend don't know it. How many... How, how would anyone know that? Oh, I think there are only two, and they keep changing well, directions. Well, they do change. Well, the quiz online told me 142, so... Oh, good oh. Lord. There you go. That was a terrible question, Never Lauren. heard It was that. only terrible because you didn't get it right, people. <laughs> <laughs> question two. In which month is Harry Potter's birthday? I feel like it's this month. June. And guess again. <laughs> You're close. It's a summer month because he's home. You're close. You're so close. July. Yay! Yay! <laughs> ding, ding. You can have that one. I'll let you. Okay. Well, I had to phone a friend in the UK for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this next one, I don't I don't know how easy these are because I don't watch Harry Potter, so I've just used the power of the internet. So they might what be happened copy to the pasted? kids' edition you used yeah. last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this is the you shouldn't have got drunk before the podcast edition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee that is a perfect map of what? What are they talking about? Where are you getting this? I've this never is heard of I've this. I've never heard of that either. Well, I'm telling you, the Your internet... Quiz sucks. No. Hollow, Gargoyle's hollow? Think about... Okay, let me give you another clue. Sheila has travelled on it when she came to London. A tram. Yeah, but the map is of the what? The, the metro system. That, that's good enough for me because it's the London Underground, but it pretty much is the okay. metro system over here. We'll take it. We'll take so, it. I feel like I'm good educating job. you both in Harry Potter. You are. We've <laughs> never heard of any of this. Either that or I'm giving you totally the wrong answers because the internet yeah. has lied to me. Yeah. yeah. Either way. the internet, everything the internet has on it is true. 100%. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many players are there in each team in a game oh, Quidditch. of Quidditch? I don't know. Ten. And minus a couple. Eight. And minus another one. Seven. Seven. Oh, my goodness. This is not going well, is it? 
I'm I trying. Was really telling my mom you were going to give her easy ones. You're going to be like easy on her, and then you just came in like freaking. You're asking things I've never heard of I before. Know. Wow, I, you know it's good. I'm sure if there's Harry Potter fans listening, they'll be like, uh, Lauren, that was, that was easy, wrong, or that was easy. Oh. One or the yeah, other. Yeah, which one? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh gosh, I feel like they're all really difficult now. I just they took, are. I just took them off quizzes online. I thought Harry Potter fans. And you know. save them for me. You should have given them to my yeah, daughter. You yeah. always wanted her to you, be wrong. You're harassing a senior citizen. <laughs> oh, I feel so guilty. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty when I love your mom. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm trying to like mix them up because I feel like the first five were really hard. So I've been mixing them up as well with the easy ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready. Here we, I don't even know what number we're on, but let's just keep going. Six. Have we finished the drink? Did we need another vodka before the next question? <laughs> there is rum and pina coladas, not vodka. Okay, now we've had another rum. Let's go. For Harry's 17th birthday, what colour did Hermione turn the leaves of the Weasley's crabapple tree? Oh, silence is not good. This is not going no well. No idea. Think about the rings that she saw earlier. Gold. Hey! Hey! You have no idea how hard and loud I laugh when I listen to you two. <laughs> I swear to God. On Mondays. It's not hard. Well, <laughs> when you listen on Monday, you'll be laughing right. at yourself. So it's cool. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm scrapping a few. I'm just going to tell you the answers to a few at the end because, you know, I feel like it's information that might be yeah, valid. Yeah, throw the you. question out there. But, yeah, you can give us the answers later. Okay, here we go. Who did Harry have his first kiss with? Oh, we know that answer. Oh, wait. Um, Cho. Yay! <laughs> High five. Love it. Hey, ouch. Oh, Jeez, she's a beast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's excited. I know. She's so strong. Okay, next question. Gig once again. I've... Side note. Yeah. Side note. Tell her how many pounds how many pounds you press. A chest press? Yeah. I can do a hundred. What? Cool. That's oh, my mom. mom. Yeah. yeah. I'll do like reps of ten. She's insane. She's a ledge. She's a beast. <laughs> Love it. All right, next question. Right, I don't even know what number it is. So, here we go. Seven. <laughs> ah, she knows seven. I have no idea. Okay, what is Ron Weasley's middle name? Oh, God, I can hear her screaming his name. I don't even know how to pronounce Ronald. it. Ronald, blah, 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 Weasley. You get in here. It does begin well, with a B. Weasley. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? If I say Bill, does that help? No, I don't remember. I gotta turn on the fan. Mom's dying. Well, the internet told me his middle name was, and I may pronounce this wrong, so apologies to any Harry Potter fans out there. Is it Billius? Oh, yes. Well, the, Billius. There you go. Ron Billius Weasley. That's his All name. Right. Okay, here we go. All right. What is the second book in the Harry Potter series? Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Chamber, Chamber of Secrets. Yes! All right. See, we can do all that. You do That's know Harry stuff. Potter. Okay, here we go. She's listened to the audio books. I can't even tell you how many times. <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's good, because I haven't listened to any of them or seen any of them. Anyway, let's move on from I that. I know. Um, okay. In which street does Harry live with his aunt and uncle? <gasps> Privet Drive. Privet Drive. <laughs> Ah, that is correct. I love yes. the fact that you whisper it first. Oh, you heard that? <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, you can't disguise that when you've got a good microphone. But that's where all the owls land and watch the house. <laughs> okay, you got two more questions. All right. I'm going to go for the harder one first. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can end on a good note. <laughs> good planning, Lauren. Good Here planning. we go. Okay. Harry is known for his talents in Quidditch. But what is the maximum speed for a firebolt broomstick? No one knows that. I do. No one knows that. No. Because the internet no. told me. No, you don't. Yeah, no, no. 50 miles. That was good, but it's a little bit faster. And it's properly 70. kilometers. No, it's miles per hour. Is it? Yeah. In England? 100? More than 100. 150. 150! Woo! Apparently they can go 150 miles per hour. 
Okay, come on then. Last one. All Let's right. end on All a right. good note. You've got to get All this right. one right. Final question. Right. Okay. At the end of the Half Blood Prince, who kills Dumbledore? Oh, Aww. Snape. Yes! Oh, Servia Snape. Well, Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you end the Harry Potter quiz. Thank you both for taking what did we part. Get? No idea. Three right? No idea. How many got right? How many got wrong? Not many. No idea. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It was all in good fun, right? It was good right? fun, right? And you know, yes. I feel like I've educated you both in Harry Potter as well. <laughs> and I'm never gonna remember anything you said. You're welcome. <laughs> I told you I had like the best, greatest life hack ever. Yes. And now I can't remember it. Okay. Well, um. No, I can't. And even the person who told me the life hack didn't know what a life hack was. So when I asked him what it was, he goes, a life sack? Excuse me? What are you saying? It's a life sack. And I'm sack. like, no, H-A-C-K. He's like a patch. And I'm like, no, a life hack. And then of course, out of all the life hacks that we had, I had to describe one. And of course I went blank. I'm like, oh my God, I must have said like 8,000 life hacks over the past six months. Yep. So still, we're out We're out of life hacks on this end, but 10 bucks says you got a few. I have got a few. And I also think after I've addressed my life hacks, we need to address the life hacks that people gave me for turning old. Oh. People, ah, ah. people actually commented on our Facebook page. <laughs> yes, they did. They were did. all quite nice, but let me give you my life hacks first because Okay. I kind of wanted to go down a little bit of a summer route because okay. although, yeah, summer. you know, to, for, it's the first week of summer. Well, yeah, it's for you, but it's been raining here constantly. <laughs> we had the storm of a lifetime this weekend. Did you? It was red. I mean, on the radar, complete red. It was absolutely insane. Nice. It looked like a dang hurricane up in here for a good 45 minutes. And poor Harley, scared I bet. out of his mind. Oh, the poor kid. The nice thing is, though, you've had this, like, thunderstorm, and now you have nice weather. We just have rain. And rain again. It's true. And rain again. Bless you. Like, we've just, Bless just you. not, doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But to be fair, on Friday, we did have, where I was, I was at a radio station on Friday, and we did go out the back and have a little bit of a picnic, and it was like, the sun come out for a bit, and I was like, oh, roll the sleeves up. The sun went in, I rolled the sleeves down. The sun come Aww. out, I rolled the sleeves up. It was just like, <laughs> oh my goodness. And then by the time we'd all got back into the office an hour later, it was just grey again. Oh, like, that blows. You know, there's just no pleasing us Brits, I swear. No. So... But anyway, I thought I would go for some summer life hacks just to, you know, hopefully anyone who's getting some sunshine can make use of them. Yes. So here we go. First one, make sure you don't get burnt by your seatbelt this summer. Oh. Every time you get out of the car, click your seatbelt like closed. So as if you'd put a seatbelt just across the seat and click it in so that the metal bit doesn't have the opportunity to get burning hot. Oh, that's pretty clever. That's quite good, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay, here's another one for you. When you eat your ice lolly... Tell mom what an ice lolly ice is. Ice cream. You call them popsicles. popsicles. Oh, popsicles. Yeah, so we call them ice lollies over here. But you know if you were to make cakes, cupcakes, and you get the little cupcake holders? Mm -hmm. Like stick one on the bottom of the ice lolly, so up the stick, so it's like a little skirt for the ice lolly, and when it drips, it doesn't go all over your fingers. Oh, cool. That is pretty genius. I like that. I like that, and that's something for the kids, for sure. Yeah, 100% definitely. For the kids. Love it. Love it. I mentioned this one before, and I'm going to mention it again because I feel like it's probably more useful now, probably for you and your mum over the next few days, to be honest. All right, what do you got? If you have a hot drink, do you remember I told you? Wet paper towel around it, then stick it in the freezer for 15 minutes and it will come out ice cold. That's insane. I still can't believe it. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, you need to get on that one. And here's my final one, okay. which you guys probably could have done with a little bit earlier today because you were at the beach. Okay. If you go to the beach and you get sandy feet, it's the most annoying thing in the world. We were suffering you, from that today. Yep, yeah, you come off the beach, you wash your feet, and then you put your flip-flops on and get sand in it again, just mm -hmm. from walking around. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently if you use baby powder, like talcum powder, on mm -hmm. your feet, it gets all the sand off. Mm. I've heard of that one. That I'm not getting work. cancer with baby powder. It's one of those weird things that gives you cancer. Not yeah, but does it? Because everything but in the does world it. does nowadays. But, does but it. not on your feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah, I reckon you'll <laughs> be all right. But 
I'm not taking responsibility for that now. Sheila's made me feel guilty. <laughs> Anyone that's listening, do it at your own risk. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I I love the summertime. I feel like this is a summertime life hack. You know how you can put your straw through the tab of a drink to keep it rising from out of your drink? Yes. I love that one. So if you have to have a straw, which actually, it's funny that I say this. Because right now, everyone is so anti-straw right now. Yes, they yeah. are. I think I mean, maybe I just need to cut that one out of this podcast. Maybe we'll just, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll cut that one out. We won't well, even say Well, do you know what, though? You say that. They're not. It's either paper straws everywhere, which really upsets me because it just goes soggy. Yeah, but, but mm, now we you live to, in a beach town. <laughs> yeah, but we went to T. All right, we went to TGI Fridays, and they started doing. I don't know what they're made out of, but they're like some something that's like biodegradable, and they they're kind of like plastic straws, but they've got a bit of a more matte finish. But they're not plastic; they're biodegradable. And TGI Fridays here in the UK has started doing them, and I'm impressed. I'm impressed too. It's more of a hard hollow tube. Well, I can tell you what, a a couple of weeks until July 4th, this is our Independence Day. We broke free from you people many moons ago. Remember that? Okay. Remember that? (laughs) All right. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah. What we do in America is we just, we barbecue. You know us. We cook out, we barbecue at the back. So one of the best things to use as a condiment server is a dang muffin pin. You get like, yes. a, I mean, a muffin tin, a muffin tin. <laughs> or a pin. Or a pin, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> put your, you got your mustard, your ketchup, your mayonnaise. You can put your pickles, your onions, and your tomatoes in there and just use them. And then boom, all you have to do is just rinse it out and you're done. So I love Perfect. that. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make a huge mess. Yeah, it's not like six different dishes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that is oh. my life hack for the summer. Thank you for contributing. Much appreciated. Thanks, because <laughs> I can't think of the other one. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Well, let's just quickly touch on because, you know, I am now 34. I'm, I know your your hint was Botox, but um, <laughs> did anyone Easy. give any better suggestions than Botox? They absolutely did. My favorite one is the one that Connie Nelson wrote, and it says, just be like Sheila B. I know. It's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> She's not right. not to know anymore then? Is that... No. That's really that's much it. it. You're good. I think I, I think I saw one that was like, just be yourself. And I thought, oh, that's a bit motivational, but I still feel old. Oh, all right. Well, Tony did say some Dove soap and maybe some Mick Ultra. It's a beer. Oh, okay. That's that's not going <laughs> to work for me, beer. probably. Okay, then maybe the Dove soap. Okay, I'll try How's the Dove that? soap. Is he implying there if I have a drink, I won't think I look that old in the mirror and I'll feel... <laughs> no, no, no. You won't care. Okay. Hey! Okay. <laughs> all well, right, there it is. Thanks for those life hacks. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll stick to my anti-aging cream and hope yeah. for the best. It's fine. That's exactly right. <laughs> so before I do my random fact, I want to ask you both a question. Yeah. Did you get in the water when you went to the beach? No. Mom didn't. We didn't today. I did yesterday. Was it two days ago I went to the beach? And then a um, uh, the week ago, Brent and I went to the beach, got in the water. Uh, Mm -hmm. But not for some reason. We we didn't stay very long today. We just got a little sun. We walked along the beach. I know. We suck. But they had the cutest little surfers, like 8 to 12 years old. And they were all out there surfing. And it was so cute. I don't know if it was a competition or a surf lesson going on, but it was so cute to watch. That's so cute. And on that note, totally just deferring somewhere else because that's what we do. Um, (laughs) Talking about surf (laughs) lessons, my husband bought me a weekend down in Newquay in the UK and his dad bought the surf lessons to accompany it for my birthday. <gasps> You're going to love it. I have do done they it have once waves before. waves out there? Yeah, down in Newquay they do, but we've got it's okay. about a four and a half hour drive for us to get there. It's worth it. So, but yeah, that's what he got me. But last time I did a surf lesson, it was in Australia and it was Ooh, roasting. That's and, scary. Uh, yeah, I've got to go. They got great white sharks out there. Yeah, they do. They got but... great whites. That's like 25, 30 foot freaking huge sharks. I was young. I didn't care. Now I'm like <laughs> paranoid. I won't even get in the beach in Wilmington. Like Carolina Beach, Wrightsville. But now I'm not getting in because I know that sharks have been spotted. I'm like, just no. Doesn't, I don't fancy so. it. Yeah, because this month we've already had three shark attacks. Did you know that one? Yeah. Oh, is that why no. you didn't get in the water? No. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't want my yeah. hair wet. She didn't want to get her hair wet. It'd take me longer to get Don't ready worry to about get the sharks. Over here. It's going to take me forever to get dressed. I love it. So, uh-huh. yeah, so far we've had last week we had, uh, I had a little kid, Bald Head Island. 
There gosh. was a shark attack there. And then Atlantic Beach, we had a shark attack earlier this month, which is north of us. And then mm-hmm. just south of us in Brunswick County, we had Ocean Isle Beach. There was a shark attack there. But it happens every year. You know what I mean? So it's not like we're going, oh, my God, there's a shark. People, like, do that every year. I'm like, it happens every year. And it's sad. And you don't want anybody to get hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody died, which, thank God. Um, but it... It is a yearly thing. It's what they do. They live in the ocean. This should not be a surprise to us. I know, by right? Now. Surely you know when you get in. Yeah, but it still that's freaks the me risk out. you take when you're going into the wild. I know. It still freaks me out, though. Oh yeah, Brent was very hesitant to get in the water last yeah. week too. That being said, he does not like sharks. Like that is one thing. He is just adamant about is we're not going to get too deep, even though like most of these shark attacks happen wastewater and below. Yeah, you know? I know. A lot of these are close to the shore. So it's it's very nerve wracking. But yeah, true. Uh, Har- blah, blah. Not Harley, not Truman. Who? My husband, Brent, <laughs> does not like sharks at all. Oh, well, I have a random fact about sharks. Oh, what you got there? See where I went with this? Like I planned what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> so here is your totally random and useless fact that you do not need to know. Some sharks are pregnant for two years. Crazy. How weird's that? It's totally weird. You know, nine months seems quite long enough for me. However, <laughs> apparently the spiny dogfish species of shark can take two years before delivery, making it the longest... Ever, ever. It's just the longest ever pregnancy. I'm sure there's no other animals that take two years. It's insane. Yeah, a totally useless random fact for you. Not even elephants. Yeah, how long is elephants? Like 23 months? Elephant pregnancy. Or elephants. Giraffes. Yeah, elephants are the longest. These gentle giants' pregnancies last more than a year and a half. The average gestation period is about 640 to 660 days, or roughly 95 weeks. So I suppose this spiny dogfish shark, which I've never even heard of, could out, yeah, could outdo a, an elephant. And apparently, just to add to the random facts, because this is the sort of random stuff I find on the internet, apparently, female sharks can also be impregnated by multiple partners at once. Yeah, that's like dogs. You know that, that that's like dogs, right? Really? Yes, a dog, a dog mom, she could have a litter of pups, came from like two or three different dads. There's a name for that. Oh. That's uh, our, uh, like at We're once. not going there, Lauren. At once, though, at, at wow. the same time. Man, I, I'm blaming the male dogs, because I'm sure she doesn't want to have anything to do with them to begin with. That basically means, though, that if... She's, a, she's not a whore. Wh- I didn't say she was. You just said that. Well, all right. Just just don't blame the female. Well, I'm just saying, though, at once. You know, do you know what I mean? That's a bit much. Like It is. Just, you know, and that means that when those children are born, those children, those pups or sharks, not children, <laughs> that came out wrong. This feels like we're taking this conversation somewhere totally different. Whole new level. When those pups come out or the sharks come out, that means they're not even brother and sister. They're like half brothers and sisters. Half brother and sister. That's exactly right. It's outrageous. Outrageous <laughs> behavior from the dogs and sharks. <laughs> All right, Lauren, you seem a little stressed out now. I am, I'm like. You're stressed out about sharks and dogs, and how about I, I, I smooth things over with a nice tell me something good story? Please, do. Please tell me something nice. <laughs> Well, Lauren, there was a seven-year-old boy recently sending a letter to his local police department. He explained why he thinks he would make an excellent officer, and his resume is flippin' adorable. Oh, I love it. Primary school student Harsharan wrote to the Sutton police station earlier this week, listing all of the qualities he had, which would make him a good crime fighter. He said, dear... Okay. (laughs) You're going to have to um, properly um, say this, because I can't. Okay. Dear Cambridgeshire Cambridge Constabulary. 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 Okay, now say it all at once. What was it? Cambridgeshire Constabulary. But say dear first. Dear Cambridgeshire Constabulary. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Dear Cambridgeshire Constabulary. I would love to be an officer, a police officer, to stop diamond heists and bank robbers. <laughs> I'm good at dodging objects and I got good eyesight. <laughs> I am good at jumping from high places, and I got lots of stealth. 
The job needs lots of focus and eyesight. To be a good police officer, you need to check stuff. I am good at guarding places. I would be good for the job because I am good at climbing, he finished. The pupil from Morley Memorial Primary School in Cambridge wrote the letter as part of a persuasive writing exercise, and it apparently worked quite effectively. Now, unfortunately for this little boy, he had to wait 10 years before he could become a member of the team, since job seekers have to be 18 to apply. However, the police in Cambridge City's Facebook page published a photo of the letter, along with some words of encouragement for others who might hope to join the force. We are definitely persuaded, wrote the police department, if, like Harsharan, you believe that you've got what it takes, we are currently recruiting special constables. Although jumping from high places is not strictly necessary. (laughs) Well, you never know what trouble you might get yourself into, so, you know. That is brilliant. God, how great is that? So adorable. I like that. That's a nice way to wrap up the show. You know, that's how we do. Plus, we got mom on the whole podcast, so it can't suck. Exactly. It was automatically genius. Loved it. I can't believe we're not having true confessions. Oh, oh my God. Why? Oh, hold on Hang now. on, hang okay. on. What do you need to Wait confess? Wait a second. Show not over. I love hearing that door squeak open and slam oh, shut. Oh, boy. We're rehashing the confessional Girl. just for your mom. But the question is, what does she need to confess? Oh, there's so many Ooh. things. Oh, yeah, there we're turning. No, no, <laughs> she's we out of here. That. <laughs> we're changed her mind all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can ask her about any current music, and this woman knows more yeah, about know anything about than I do. You ready for her latest guilty pleasure? Yes. She's got Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> she she knows who that is. She is rocking it. I love it. Oh, my. How do you know who that? I listen to the radio. I'm like, well, I don't. So <laughs> I listen to the right station. Ah. Yeah, she's got the right station in Katy, Texas. <laughs> that is See? amazing. I love that. All right, you done with your wine? All right, so we're going to leave you because we have to go search for a place to go for Christmas. We're thinking about coming to see you. Okay. What you actually mean, though, is we need to go and search for another bottle of something, then look for somewhere to book for Christmas. (laughs) Don't try and sugarcoat this, Sheila, like you're not going to find the wine. Time is up. So good to hear from you again, Lauren. We really appreciate you being here today. Well, enjoy searching for a holiday for Christmas. <laughs> I felt the air quotes on that one. <laughs> we love you. See you next Monday from The Lauren and Sheila Show. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to The Lauren and Sheila Show. Music was licensed by Ben Sound. Find our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Google Play Music, and at laurenandsheilashow.com. Want to talk to us? Find us on Facebook at The Lauren and Sheila Show. On Twitter and Instagram at Lauren and Sheila. Leave all good comments on any of our social media platforms. All negative and hateful comments, you can send them right to hell. Want to become a new and improved amazing person? Sponsor our podcast. Email us at Lauren and Sheila Show at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in as we ponder across the pond with The Lauren and Sheila Show. <laughs>